Use code SPIKEFEEDERS for 5% off at facetofacegames.com. You can shop face-to-face games in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or even euros, and they'll ship just about everywhere. That's code SPIKEFEEDERS at checkout at facetofacegames.com to help support the show. Want to meet some of your favorite magic artists and personalities, including Jim, Alex, and Jan? Check out The Magic Summit at mtgsummit.com. Use code SPIKES for 5% off your ticket this November. Spikes, what is up? Jim here, Spike Feeders World Headquarters. We're playing MLC decks again. We've been doing this for the past three game, gameplay episodes, and this is the last one. The, Ever. Uh, the, the ultimate MLC. This one's for all the marbles. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll bet marbles on this one. Um, yeah, so MLC decks, these are decks that I drafted for the Major League Commander League that's going on over the summer. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown, there were 32 um, people who participated in the draft. We each drafted four decks, and we're playing them over the summer in a league format. Very, very cool idea. Really happy to be part of it. And uh, yeah, we decided that we were going to take these decks through their paces, these four decks that I drafted. Today, I'm Jerry. I'm playing Bray Consult. This is a uh, Consult Oracle list. It's got Bomberman lines. It's got Breach lines. It's just like a whole bunch of combo goodness. And in true Jerry fashion, I'm either going to win on turn two or do nothing for the entire game. And then win on turn six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping for the latter option uh, so that hopefully I can win. I'm Elliot and I am playing Urza, Lord High Artificer today. I thought you were going to say you uh, were hoping to do nothing all game. <laughs> well, That's a weird thing to hope for. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I hope to do the opposite. Uh, this deck almost popped off in the last episode. Uh, so I'm hoping to uh, get it over the edge this time, I guess. Uh, oh, this is a polycracken uh, list. So that means I am uh, polymorphing the construct that Urza makes into Hullbreaker Horror and then doing um, Tide Spout, Tyrant Loops, but uh, new new style. It's the magic theme for Loops. loops. <laughs> Tide Spout, Tyrant Loops come in mm. one flavor, sadness. <laughs> Not even fish. Uh, well, I'm Jan and today I'm channeling my inner Alex mm. and I'm playing Boros. I'm playing Cole the Forge Master. Uh, so it's a uh, equipment based um, I forgot what we've been calling it the whole time. Combo. Oh, combo. combo deck. It's a combo deck. It's a combo yeah. deck. Oh. Yeah. Skull clamp. <laughs> clamp <laughs> storm. storm. There we go. We got it. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to get out uh, Memnites. I'm going to clamp them, draw some cards, get out more Memnites, et cetera, et cetera. Feel like Alex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alex. Hi. Of. Me, Alex. Deck here. Grease Fang have <laughs> play Perihelion from Yard onto battlefield good nice nice <laughs> i rolled the highest on my first i'll draw a card to start the game and uh like i said i'm playing it like jerry fast and loose i'm gonna cast this mox diamond pitching an island and then i would like to tap the mox diamond for a red and cast ragavan a nimble pilferer oh, ragavan's oh. so good and I will pass the turn. Oh, no. On oh, no <laughs> land drop. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Jerry play Ragavan. I'm, I'm never so blocking good. this thing, so that's probably bad for us, team. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I am drawing a card for my turn, though. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that's that's a toughie. Um, I've, got a, I've got an island that I'm not going to discard because I respect my lands. Uh, and then I'm going to play this Preordain. Oh, yeah, go for it. Skr, I too. I don't know why I thought this was a tutor. <laughs> pre <-earning? laughs> He kind of announced like it was a tutor. Yeah, he did. He, he was very like, and now I shall demonic tutor, but he said preordain. So I'm going to leave both of these cards on top. Oh, wow. In a specific order so that I draw this one. And now I would like to be Jerry an additional time because I'm going to play a mana crypt mm. and I'm going to play a jeweled amulet. And I'm going to play a Mox Opal. That's pretty good. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm going to charge counter this Mox Opal with a blue. That's pretty good. But, I love how uh, Elliot said he's never blocking his Ragavan, and he's on track for a turn two or so. That's that going to block three three Ragavan. construct minimum. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you're not going to block this Ragavan. But you heard him. You heard him. I'm never going to block it. <laughs> All right, pass. That's a Jerry thing. I'm going to draw this card. <gasps> I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn. Uh, and unlike this preordain, I'm actually going to fetch going down to 39. I'm going to get this. Nice. Nice. That's a throwback. <laughs> it is a throwback. Uh, and then me for the first time in three 
episodes. Four episodes. Esper Sentinel? It's an Esper Sentinel. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. I just yeah. wanted to play Esper Sentinel. I don't even really care anymore. Uh, and I'll just play this Crimson Cobalt. Yeah. Go. That's a strong right. turn one. Uh, that's a red spell. <laughs> Not only a red spell, it's a red creature. You can blue elemental blast it. Graph Digger's Cage. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Alex, Alex, Alex. You're welcome. welcome you welcome, got welcome. it. I'll pass. Yeah, I got nothing there. Down, down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Draw a card. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Pass. Okay. It's my first time playing this. Card. I know. That's why I gave it to you. I'll draw a card. Oh, never punished. <laughs> Play this ancient tomb. Oh my god. It's so good. It's two lands. It's so Jerry. <laughs> god, I love never punished. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to move to combat mm-hmm. and I will attack Elliot mm-hmm. for two. Block. You go to 30. Go to 38. 38. Do we get to see this card? Yeah, it gets exiled, exiled face up. It's a, it's exiled face up. Yep. Oh. Oh. Is that just till end of turn? Yeah. You also make a treasure. Yeah, I make a treasure too. Don't forget that. Not everybody all at once, please. <laughs> this is sad for me. I left that on top underneath the mana crypt and got. <laughs> Ragavand. <laughs> you knew it was going to happen. I know. I'm so dumb. <laughs> and you sorcery speed charge your jewels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. Tell us in the comments. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, you better just thumbs up the one that's already there. That's true, yeah. I'm going to take two off the Ancient Tomb and cast this Fabricate. Would you like to pay the one for the Esper Sentinel? I would not. Good. Good. It's the most Jerry thing. Well, it's like fourth most Jerry thing you've done. I'm getting a Lion's Eye Diamond out of <gasps> Elliot's Fabricate. It's very kind of him. It um, was. I will then cast Lion's Eye Diamond. I've made a mistake. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. I would like to flip for this Mana Crypt in my upkeep. Spikes damage. Yay. Yeah. Go to 35. 35. And this then I will draw for my turn. This is the point where we put in the thing. I missed another Esper Sentinel. But Ooh, I'm tough. not going back for it. Draw. We'll put a note. The lines I diamond. Oh no, I got off no, the fabric. Fab- we're all good. Put a note about how you were wrong, about how you were wrong. <laughs> I Joe. mean, sure. sure. The people responsible for the sacking have been sacked. <laughs> yeah. You can put it, you can put a thing on here, but like at this point, Jan thought that he missed it. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> good thing he didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, I got that audio too i can put that yeah. in. nice Idiot. first things first uh this looks to me like it uh, adds blue blue and two colorless so i would like to exchange uh goods for services and play urza lord high artificer would you like to generate a construct token well is it going to resolve yeah uh, i've got no effects yeah any 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 do it i would like to make a construct token and I'm just going to pass the turn. <gasps> the construct can't attack this turn anyway, so it's he's it's got a blocker. Just, does I, have I do have a blocker. I'm done casting his fabricates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw this card. I'm going to play this windswept heath. Uh, then I'm going to play a mana crypt of my own because <gasps> I want to be in the mana crypt club. Cheater. And then I think I'm just going to pass. Okay. Go, Alex. Mm. I'll untap. I'll upkeep. I'll draw. That's. Suspicious, isn't it? It's deeply suspicious. Two, three, one, two. I'll play a Marsh Flats. I'll crack a Marsh Flats. Off that Marsh Flats, I'm going to grab this Snow Covered Swamp. And I will pay one and a two and a one to Thalia. Interesting. Oh, my life is over. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have no responses to Thalia. I need to have a response, I believe, because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I can't play the game. Um, yeah, it feels pretty bad, um, but I'm going to add blue with Urza's ability uh, twice here and mana drain this Thalia. Are you going to pay one for the sure. Esper Sentinel? I cannot. Unfortunate. Okay. Nice. I, I hope Jim doesn't do something crazy. Tap. <laughs> one. Do something crazy. Trevor. I'm going to take two off the Ancient Tomb. 
36. Doing his best Jerry impression, just in a free fall. I'm going to cast Wheel of Fortune, holding priority. I'm going to sacrifice my treasure and cast Enlightened Tutor. Interesting. I have no response to Enlightened Tutor. Are you going to pay for the Esper Sentinel? I'm not. Uh, well, actually, it, I guess in it, theory it, it, it is. So, Enlightened below Tutor this, resolves yeah. first. Yes. yes. It is below the Enlightened okay. Tutor. Uh, I have no response to the Enlightened Tutor. Actually, for Expeditious, expeditious Sadic, I will crack this. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it makes sense. In response to uh, Woodfall, Windswept Heath, yeah. I have no responses. Okay, okay cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to get this untapped Sacred Foundry and go to 36. Whoa. Untapu. Uh, send a message. True. Okay. Wow, he left all of his mana untapped, and then he fetched for an untapped Sacred Foundry. That's what I was saying. It's suspicious. It's so aggressive. It is. It's an aggressive posture, Jan. Be aggressive. Uh, I'm getting the mana crypt to the top of my library. Mm. Uh, okay. So now we have an Esper Sentinel trigger. Yes, right. Esper Sentinel trigger. Please proceed. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, I would like to retain priority and crack my Lion's Eye Diamond. Mm. So I'm going to discard Spell Pierce, Chain of Vapor, Goblin Engineer, Cyclonic Rift. I have a response. You're going to counter the Wheel what of Fortune. Color, so aggressive. What this. color of mana? Oh, yeah. true. I will add... I will cast a fierce guardianship. <laughs> <So aggressive. laughs> uh, attempting to counter target non creature spell, which is Wheel of Fortune. Would you like to pay for Esper I will not pay. I'm draw this card. Anybody want a wheel? <laughs> if I could counter fierce guardianship, I would have countered wheel. Yep, I could counter <laughs> fierce guardianship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the best part. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I have no effects to fierce guardianship. No? No. Alex, you're our only hope. <laughs> no, you got it. Great. I did Successfully it. countered. Gaming. Uh, then I'm going to move to combat. Take his Perhelion. And I would like to attack Alex. For two. 37. Come on, Perhelion. Oh, oh that's Dark a good one, one, though. Interesting. I can't cast it, though. Oh, yeah. So it just stays exiled. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, end of your turn. I am going to unexpectedly absent Urza to put him two from the bottom, or two from the top of Elliot's deck. Smart. Oh. Well, that's atrocious for me. <laughs> if only you had a fierce guardianship or something. <laughs> oh, two from, so yeah. underneath two cards. Beneath the top X cards, yeah. Yeah, so two cards then. Two cards. Can, but the... can I just say he goes to the command zone? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Let me do some math. <laughs> No. Remember when I got oh, that one does tap. Uh, yeah, this one does tap. Yeah. Let me do some math. <laughs> now there's an old reference. Yeah. I have no effects okay. uh, to the unexpectedly absent. I will put Urza in the command zone, though. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. Then I guess it's my turn. Uh, untap. Uh, upkeep. Mana crypt. Evens. Or evens. <laughs> I'm flipping a coin, so evens. Evens damage. are damage, yeah. Evens is, is spike. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm demanding you take three damage for that I'm, I yeah. Oh, I, okay, sure. Just, just All right. deal me the three. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Three, two. Um, you did such a bad job explaining God, it. God, did I take <laughs> yeah. damage? I was going to just take it back, but it's fine. Uh, draw for my turn, and then main phase, uh, add two colorless. From mm -hmm. the mana drain. Uh, now, the reason that I had to put this Urza not two cards down in my deck is because I would like to cast this Polymorph. Mm. Uh, like this. So I still have a colorless floating, sorry. Sounds okay. good. Uh, I would like to destroy target creature. Uh, wait. I would like to hold priority. <laughs> I would like to tap a blue and this jewel amulet for a blue to Cyclonic Rift, the Graph Digger's Cage. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, super, here, yeah. I was oh, super looking uh, forward to Are you paying one for the Esper Sentinel? 
It's on the polymorph. No, morph, so. I am not. Yeah, you may. Yeah, so the cyclonic rift, same thing as last time. Cyclonic rift happens first. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, it resolved. Yeah. Now the S percentile trigger resolves. Now the polymorph resolves. Or poly, we'll, cyclonic we'll rift. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bounce the graph trigger's gauge. Polymorph. Any effects? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. I will put Hullbreaker Horror onto the battlefield and then shuffle my deck. Uh, next, now that I have Mr. Pinchies in play, I'm going to use this colorless uh, to play a Sensei's Divining Top, which will trigger uh, Mr. Pinchy. Oh, this polymorph is long gone. Gee, Jan, clean up your my clean up your, <laughs> your mistakes. Clean up my, my game game state. <laughs> Oh no, uh, that'll trigger return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, which will be this Mana Crypt. Oh look, Mana Crypt costs zero. I like to cast this Mana Crypt, which will trigger Hullbreaker Horror. I'd like to return this Mox Opal to my hand. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to demonstrate a loop. Tap this Mana Crypt, play this Mox Opal, bounce this Mana Crypt, tap this Mox Opal, cast this Mana Crypt, bounce this Mox Opal. I would like to make infinite colorless and infinite blue mana uh, and end, I guess, with both of these in play, mm -hmm. let's say. Sure. Uh, then I would like to recast Urza, Lord High Artificer. I suppose. How much, how much floating? Um, 997 <laughs> trillion. <laughs> and I suppose at that point you'd like to cast your deck using Urza's five ability. Yeah, so uh, it'll make a construct. That part doesn't really matter. But yes, then I, I would like to use uh, Urza's uh, ability a couple times to shuffle my library, then exile the top card, and until end of turn I may play that card. I would like to use it approximately... N minus one times. This many N minus, times. N minus four times. Okay. N minus four? You got uh, it. Six. N minus six times? Yeah. You got it. Okay, uh, listen, One, I, two, I'm, I'm willing to three. move to the concede. Because he can cast Thassa's Oracle and win with real devotion. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. I, I'd like to move to the concede. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, I, well, hang on. Hold on. Okay. I, I don't. Okay. Oh. Which is, uh, okay. What do you got, Jan? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I technically have to do it reverse. So let's see what let's see what we got. Sure. That's a S percent. I'll turn it over. Got it. Good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Maybe I've taken down three of the. I was saying maybe I should have held on to this unexpectedly absent until uh, Elliot actually did a thing. I think firing it off. Well, in response to the mm, polymorph. Well, in response like the to the polymorph, polymorph or in response. Target? Yes. Yes. It, yes, it yeah. does destroy target creature. But I think what happens then is what you do is you uh, wait for it to be on the stack, targeting the construct. Put the Urza under some number of things. No, that doesn't help nope. either. You, no, you to, put the sorry. construct under, and then it fizzles a yeah. more. You can put the you can unexpectedly absent the Hullbreaker Horror. That's the other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that is a difficult spot to be in because unless Elliot has an instant speed spell, so mm -hmm. of course with with Hullbreaker Horror, instant speed spells can continue to combo. Yeah, and then you just continue to combo. Well, they, no, not not in that situation yeah. because you need the Hullbreaker Horror in play, and yeah. you can't replay the artifacts at instant speed. But yeah. Um, if he's got a counter spell or whatever, right. he can uh, yeah. actually any spell allows him to bounce unexpectedly adds him back to your hand. Yeah, with yeah that's card. why this thing is so dumb. This card does so much stuff. It is also uncounterable. Yeah, yeah. if you hard cast it and has flash itself. If you ever get in a situation yeah. where you need to hard cast, this it, is why like... people swap tides boat tyrant. <laughs> yeah, I know it's really Mr. Pinchy. Why are you so good? Anyway, yeah, because right. yeah, I had these. Yeah, for the follow up turn, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's good stuff. Uh, unsurprisingly, I was on. Oh look, some stacks. Oh no, my stacks. So yeah, yeah. The graph ticker gauge did not do the things that it did last game. I was on. I wanted a grip of a new grip of seven <laughs> cards and three blue mana. <laughs> <laughs> I think you went max. Somebody took that away. From I think. I think. I went max Jerry. You went max Jerry, and that was the most Jerry outcome. Yeah. Of yeah. The thing. Really, yeah. Really, truly. Yeah. Maximum <laughs> punished. I really like all these decks. I think you're going to have a great summer play in, in the MLC with all this. It's interesting. I've already played three games. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I am zero, three, and zero. Okay. okay. Uh, I've played Urza twice and Grease Fang once. Um, okay. Well, as, cool. as I'm filming right now. Well, yeah. you know, here's the thing that you're still on your expected pace because, you know, you win your next game and right there you go. Yeah, I mean that's that's how statistics work. Yeah. So yeah, that is um, how statistics. Work. I failed that, so don't ask me. Obviously, he won three in a row. Yeah, <laughs> or three total. Oh, I'm great. Yeah, yeah, you are great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah. that's just about it for this series of MLC games, which is kind of cool. Um, let us know if you like this. We can do uh, this format was actually really easy for us to film. Yeah, uh, having four decks and then just passing them to the left every week. 
Uh, or not every week, but like every game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Spoiler, really, really easy. We film these fun. at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we film it all on the same day. I actually just wear this shirt every day. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, we're all wearing. Remember when we used to bring, bring extra shirts, shirts yeah. to yeah, filming yeah, was, days? And then we just stopped caring. Yeah. 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 You don't anyway, care. Let us know if you like this format, if you don't like this format. If you like seeing us play different decks every week, then let us know. But uh, this was super easy for us. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Super fun. Yeah. And uh, make sure you check out our face to face affiliate link in the show notes. And our Patreon link is in the show notes as well if you want to support us directly. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you next time. Huge shout out to all of our patrons, especially those listed here. If you haven't checked the Patreon in a while, check it out again. We've got some new bonuses for folks who pledge at $20 or above. So if you haven't checked us out, please do so. And once again, thank you for all your support over the years. We really appreciate it. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.